welcome to AS and A level chemistry. Our topic for today is hydrocarbons. Now as the name suggests, hydrocarbons are compounds that are only made of hydrogen atoms and carbon atoms. That's it. No other, no other elements. Only hydrogen atoms and carbon atoms and that's why they are called hydrocarbons. So there are three different classes of hydrocarbons. There are the alkanes, and they have carbon-carbon single bonds. Then there are the alkenes. They have at least one carbon-carbon double bond. Oh, so not H. This can be anything. Sorry about that. Uh, and then there are the alkynes so this, these sorry these are the alkenes and then there are the alkynes which have the carbon carbon triple bond now um, you can see that um, alkenes are sp3 hybridized because each carbon atom is forming four sigma bonds you can you if you do not know about hybridization and sigma bonds and pi bonds then you should watch my playlist on chemical bonding because there you will learn more about uh, hybridization sigma bonds and pi bonds so right now uh, let's so this will be sp3 hybridized alkanes are sp3 hybridized because uh, because they have each carbon atom forms four sigma bonds four sigma bonds now alkenes, you can see that each carbon atom uh, in the double bond is forming is forming three sigma bonds and one pi bond. So three sigma and one pi. So they are sp2 hybridized. So only the area around the carbon carbon double bond is sp2 hybridized. Rest, if uh, there are no pi bonds in the entire molecule, then that portion will be sp3 hybridized. However, this region, this entire region will be sp2 hybridized. Then in alkynes, we have sigma, sigma, pi, pi, and then sigma. So each carbon atom forms two sigma bonds and two pi bonds because there's a carbon-carbon triple bond. So these are sp hybridized. And uh, so you can see why they are sp hybridized, why these are sp2 hybridized and why these are sp3 hybridized. So you can also relate the bond angles that we did in the chemical bonding chapter. So there's not uh, anything else you need to know about the alkynes because um, you just need to know they have a carbon-carbon triple bond and they are sp hybridized. That's it. The, uh, the, the reactions we will be dealing with today will be co concerning alkanes and alkenes only. Uh, these are what are important to us right now. So let's move forward. Now alkanes they are called saturated hydrocarbons. They are also called saturated hy hydrocarbons. Now, they have a general formula of CnH2n plus 2. And this will explain why they are called saturated hydrocarbons. So, if we put n is equal to 1 and make the simplest uh, alkane, it is methane. Because it, meth because it has one carbon atom and ane because it's an alkane. So, this is methane. Now, you can see that carbon has completed its valency. It has a valency of 4, it has 4 valence electrons and it has formed 4 bonds in total with hydrogen atoms. So you cannot add any other hydrogen atoms to this carbon because it has no spare electrons to form bonds with hydrogen atoms. So this is, that's why they are called saturated because they can, they can, because the carbon atoms can bond to no other atoms in this case. And then similarly, if I put n is equal to 2, I get C2H6, C2H6, as you can see, this is ethane, this is ethane, and, um, and you can see again, each carbon atom has formed four bonds, so nothing can be added over here, no carbon atom can be had added, no hydrogen can be added, because each carbon atom has fulfilled its valency, has formed four bonds. So, uh, so nothing can be added to this now. 
Then we can have propane with three carbon atoms, butane, four carbon atoms, pentane, five carbon atoms. So it keeps going on. So now that we know how 